start off with a mower. Bad start. It's all right. Decent. Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to the Scrap and Blind channel. We're out today, as you saw. We just picked us up a lawnmower. We're out picking, uh, picking through trash. Got a special guest today. Got my buddy Jorge. Of course, we got Lauren. Hey. We got Lukey. Hi. We, it's Jorge's first time out trash picking with us. Uh, back when we used to work together, we used to go in the mornings <laughs> during work and. Sometimes we find some pretty cool stuff, but this is the first time him making a video with us, so it's pretty cool. This house right up here in the corner, that's where we found, uh, at the end of this cul-de-sac, that's where we found that table last week. Some fence panels. Yeah, right here, but nothing this week. Do you see those p uh, fence panels? actually some decent fencing but no I'm not gonna take them but that would be a good find for somebody there's a tape a headboard and footboard it's got the uh, leave the red we'll leave it they wouldn't oh, okay I will leave it what is that a tire there tire yes I'm gonna take the tire TV TV no Take a quick look. Here. Oh, I'm gonna need some help pulling it out of this dumpster. Got him sell that um, bounce house? What is it, a motor? Blow it. Blower, I mean. Do you still have bounce house? Yeah. Oh, that one's all pretty nasty. Let's see if it works. Little blower for the bounce house if it works. It could be a couple bucks. Not cut the cord. Got a broken letter, maybe. There's some metal too. We'll have to do some re rearranging in a minute, I'm sure. What do you think? What do you think, dude? It's Is it really? Oh, it's missing a wheel. Uh, we're not gonna mess with it. Sorry, dude. It was broken. We'll find another one. Wasn't happy. Looks like a metal chair. Uh, it's broken, but scrap it. Looking at the tarp, but eh. uh, that's pretty nice. It's a a walker. 
broken maybe I'm not sure we'll check it out my aunt could probably use that honestly is that it oh yeah got some there's a booster seat take that I know that exact same one. A little bit of scrappity scrap metal. Hey, what's, that's, that's a nice right there, baby. That white one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's for yard sale. Yeah. No, I don't, I'm not going to take oh, that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. Nice little wooden. Oh, that's for uh, a. Yeah, it's missing one of the little hooks, but that's all right. anything scrap metal it's another another table uh, nah well maybe that one's a pretty nice one yeah we'll try that one car parts but they're all Throw that in the car, truck. There's some clothes there. <sighs> oh, I just feel hate seeing clothes like in the trash like that. I can't get them all though, so. I just can't reach them when this thing's real hot. <laughs> what does that say? West. Maybe here. Lord, make sure there's no glass in it. I think that's like a shower curtain, maybe. All right, you want these? Nah. Canvases? Nah. Little scrappy scrap model. Yes. 
slippery right there. What's that? checked over in these other ones so oh that's hot we can fit three so that was a pretty dumpster. decent little dumpster what did what you guys find i saw the baskets and the monitor oh yeah the fan what did you, did you find anything uh -uh. oh yeah that whole box of clothes i don't even know what size or if they're girls but I don't like seeing like clothes in the trash like that because I mean, there's always people that need clothes so we always take them to the church so got some pretty good stuff out of that one we got two three more small neighborhoods we'll see if we can find anything else there's no more dumpsters so it's all gonna be curbside okay Taking no more TVs for a while. Huh? Huh? Pretty nice little stands. I have to tie all this stuff down or we'll rearrange. I'm not sure. We still have two two more neighborhoods. So. wants it. Huh? I don't want to deal with like putting it in the back of the truck right now. Huh? We'll pass on it. Yeah, if we don't find anything else to fill the truck up with, maybe we'll come back and get it. Uh, is that the no, it's not. It's just real rusted oh, on the inside. Yeah, yeah, but that may that might mean it's real stainless though. Yeah. But I don't know. Game chair. Let's look at the gamer chair. <laughs> Sure it does. Dang. It's an X Xterra. Maybe. We have to come back and have to go do some rearranging. 
<laughs> oh, that works. So, the water hose reel sucked. I tried to untangle it and it took us about 30 minutes. <laughs> Me, Jorge, and Lauren really went to work on that thing. And we finally got it untangled about 30 minutes later and went back to get the treadmill. You missed that one? We went down the oh. And um, one of the wheels got stuck in between the bed of the truck and the tailgate. And we couldn't lift it up. I had to take the tailgate off. So, really glad this guy came because uh, I would have been down a treadmill and probably a water hose. I probably would have cut that thing right off. So, we got one more street in this little neighborhood. There's a chair over there. A little lounge chair. Uh, one more street in this neighborhood. And then one more tiny neighborhood. It's got like four streets in it and then we're, we're heading home. Oh, man. Hopefully, hopefully this thing's aluminum. I'm not wasting my <laughs> trip across here for a steel chair. <sighs> See you in here. Yep, that's aluminum. Can just tell. Where's that other strap at? Definitely running out of room, but Lauren saw a sign. Oh, that's really heavy. Oh, man. I'm gonna set it right here for just the time being. until I can strip it all down a little bit better. All right, I had to stop and get some, some fuel, but I got it all loaded up and tied down and strapped down and bungee down and all kinds of goodness. So everything's in there pretty nice. I had to do a recap when we get home, especially on some of the um, mystery boxes we actually could have still fit more stuff in here there's room underneath the treadmill a little bit of room right here but not much so anyway all right what you think about your trash picking experience with us until the treadmill and the water water hose <laughs> yeah you want to see Jorge pick with us more often leave it in the comments and try to get him get him around to coming with us on a more uh, regular basis anyway good morning everyone so it is the next day I'll show you guys real quick a few things before I start unloading this truck um, I know all the stuff you guys saw so like the scrap metal, I'm not gonna show you guys, but there's a few things I really wanna show y'all. 
in the daylight and the better lighting and where I can talk about it a little bit. But the plan is to unload stuff around this treadmill, get the treadmill off and test it and see if it works. Because if it works, I think we can sell it. It's um, an Xterra TR 3.0 treadmill. Looks like they've had it in their garage for a while. So we'll see if that works. It came with the manual and everything. So if that works, I feel like we should be able to get anywhere from 50 to 100 bucks. So probably more than that, but we'll see. But for now, I'm gonna get all this metal around it. I'm gonna get it off and see what happens. All right, did wanna show you this really quick before I start unloading. Um, got a magnet here it's a little overkill but I don't have uh, I've lost one of my little magnets this uh, chair lounge chair it's all ripped up but it's all aluminum so I thought that was pretty good <laughs> that's my magnet for now uh, like I said just wanted to show you that because I'm about to throw some of this scrap metal into the pile over there so All right, let's see if we can find a power button. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, I unloaded the truck. Check this out, got my fan set up going. Actually, I was testing all the fans to make sure they work because I was cleaning out the garage. But I just left them going because it's so hot outside. I mean, I'm like drenched in sweat. Let me show you a few things real quick that we picked up last night. And I want to get your opinions on what you guys think that this stuff is worth. First off, the mower. It's a Craftsman. Uh, it turns over. But uh, there's compression, but there's no um, gas in it. I can't test it to see if it works right now. And my gas tank is empty. Um, this thing here, it's not broken. All it needs is the, um, the bolt to hold this thing up. Otherwise, it's in mostly good shape. This is kind of kind of messed up. So I'm not sure if that'll sell or not. We just bought one of these booster seats, the exact same one, but for a boy for $25. So I figured maybe at least two bucks would be okay, a dollar. This thing's really cool though. It's a Texas thing stand. I'm not sure exactly if they use it for anything. It just had this little wicker basket on it. That might be another dollar item along with that one maybe a dollar a piece but uh that thing somebody made that and it's really really cool i'm thinking at least 10 bucks uh the plant stand here this is really cool it's like the uh kind of like a winding staircase almost but it's a plant stand again I, to me i figure that's another five to ten dollars this little cross it says family and home and together and unify and love and all that kind of stuff pretty neat bigger two or three dollar item and again these I'm just, just kind of throwing these prices I'm kind of curious on y'all's opinions um, this little stand here it's got the Texas star and then the two hooks on the side just a probably a cedar cedar shelf most likely but it's in good shape that I figured three bucks or so and then the US table it's a little faded but somebody can repaint that if they want it's got a metal metal frame or metal base I figure that may be another three dollars so I figured three that'd be a dollar a piece for the baskets that's five eight call it ten twelve say five for that so seventeen I'm saying fifteen for that so thirty two and another ten for that so say forty two See like 45 bucks worth of stuff there. Uh, the treadmill did not work. Treadmill did not work. Um, it looked like the screen had got all rained on and stuff. It was, it just didn't work. So scrap metal, that's what's going as. And that's probably five bucks by itself. So, and then the mower, if we can get this mower running, that'd be another 75 bucks probably. Cause this is a good mower. Craftsman's are, are pretty good. And I believe it's got a Briggs. So, decent little little scores. Not as good as last week with that table, but 
decent. Oh, and I've got a uh, mystery box over there to go through here in just a second. So, the reason why I've been like sweating my butt off is because I've been kind of cleaning up the garage. So all these are empty totes for all you guys that keep telling me to grab the totes. And I say, I've got a bunch of totes. I've got a bunch of empty totes there. Most of them have the lids. And then back there, all that stuff back there is Lauren's parents stuff. But there's about 10 of our empty totes back there as well. Uh, this whole box right here, this is stuff that we've took to, uh, it's been through two yard sales and three trips to the flea market. So the next time we do a yard sale or a flea market, all that stuff's going to go as a quarter. Whatever's in that box is just going to go for a quarter. And then whatever doesn't sell will kind of go from there. Uh, here's a couple of things I want to put up on Marketplace. Just a cool little beer, beer sign. And then underneath it's... Uh, some uh, little jars, little containers. So I'm just going to put them on Facebook Marketplace and see if they sell before we try the yard sale. Uh, most of this stuff here has stuff that has not made it to a flea market or yard sale yet. Some of it has, don't get me wrong. Some of it has, but a lot of it has not. So this is all stuff that's kind of new inventory. Um, except for the apple peeler, that's not going. But most of this other stuff is, like I said, it's new stuff that we're going to try at the flea market or yard sale. And then back here is uh, stuff that we've taken the past couple of times. So it's at least sort of getting organized now. I just, uh, it's just so hot. <laughs> my plan eventually here pretty soon is to get my trailer out of the garage. It's just in here kind of taking up a lot of space. Uh, have a little four by six trailer. Um, this is a really heavy duty trailer. Believe it or not, I only gave $150 for that trailer uh, maybe a year ago almost. But anywhere I look on market, Facebook Marketplace, those are anywhere from four to like 600 bucks. The only thing is I don't have a gate for it. So, but that's that's fine. It's got it's heavy duty. My dad uh, rewired it for lights. He even put some some new lights on it in the front and the back. Uh, he painted it, which it's dusty, but got my mower i've got this stove that i've got to figure out something to do with it works it does work so it's probably going to go to marketplace and then got the mower there's some other stuff that's back here that for another video i want to show you guys it's a lot of like really old antique stuff that i want to uh let you guys look at get your opinion see if maybe there's some stuff that anybody would like to purchase because i mean it is really old stuff there i have a a, a ladle that's uh silver that's actual silver from like 1908 or something like that and it's like a 16 inch ladle or I think 16 inches so it's really cool um, another thing I get a lot of com comments is leaving stuffed animals behind I have an entire trash bag here uh, I've already donated two or three trash bags full of stuffed animals I have another one here there's another one around here somewhere I'm not sure where but I mean that's why I don't take a lot of stuffed animals I have a I have a ton of them so, but they're all, I always, I wash them. I always wash the stuffed animals, but sometimes I just don't want to grab a bunch of the stuffed animals. Up here, this is all Lauren's dad's stuff here. All those, mostly all that stuff is model ships. Really cool collection. Or not model ships, I'm sorry, model airplanes. So, there's a few miscellaneous things on the trailer I still got to kind of go through. Found that table a while back, Lauren's mom wants to repaint. But other than that, garage is starting to come together. I just got to get some of this stuff that's outside. I got to put it back in. Uh, I think we're going to do a yard sale next instead of a flea market. I think we're going to try our hand at a yard sale. Just right out here and maybe just put, you know, a few items. Not everything. Put all this stuff out there, like I said, for a quarter. And then maybe whatever doesn't go, if it's decent stuff. Which it all is. I mean, I can I don't want to pull all this stuff out and show you. But like even like this, uh, this high chair, nobody's bought it. So... If that doesn't sell, that's a great donate item, you know? And then there's like bags and like really nice bags. So, and other stuff. There's a lot of other stuff in here. So, I think the only other thing to show you guys from the other night. Oh, the uh, blower. It did work. That thing blows really good. So, that's going to be a yard sale item. Maybe five bucks on that. Uh, the only other thing to show you guys is this mystery box. But let me get some of this stuff cleared up and we'll go from there. Okay, real quick, we're gonna go through this box. There's a pillow, a ship, 
pillow maybe here's some trend what is that transparency film some kind of computer printer paper a picture frame a friendship isn't a big thing it's a million little things that's kind of cool is it a box or no it's just a little you'd put it on your shelf or something little pink vase this is like a wax warmer i think Warren will probably want that a book dork uh, oh my god all about me diary looks like <laughs> that guy's cool yeah 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 <laughs> some kind of stuffed animal another stuffed animal um what is this a little basket of some kind oh that's kind of cool a little bottle um looks like maybe some curtains some more picture frames this is all decent like a uh, yard sale items so far that's kind of cool a little probably a pin holder or something there's a top to something oh is that a fitbit oh that might be a fitbit oh, lauren will be excited about that it may not be though i'm not sure i'll take that in and let her look at that she's been wanting a fitbit but they're too dang expensive little necklace thing what are all this stuff another necklace this is a collagen peptides I don't even know what that is it's like some goggles two pairs of goggles a beanie baby another stuffed animal oh that's broken that kind of stinks a fidget spinner looks like some towels so that's cool I'll get back out here and clean this stuff up later I'm I'm tired <laughs> all right guys I'm clocking out I'm done for the day I'm gonna put my just put my fans back in the garage and then uh, I'm gonna get cleaned up and just relax the rest of the day oh. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us. What'd you guys think about Jorge? He's a it's a good dude right there. I've known that guy for about eight or nine years. He's a he's a good guy. I always like hanging out with him. I um I've worked with him uh, since like I said earlier, 2011. So there was a point where I was I spent more time with him than I did Lauren, which is kind of funny. So, but anyway. Hope you guys liked him hanging out with us if you did like i said earlier leave a comment and we'll try to get him back in some of our videos he's he's a lot of fun to be around he also has a uh, a youtube channel of his own it he hasn't really been on it well at all in the past like six six or seven months but the dude is extremely extremely talented he's an artist he the guy can draw like man like nobody's business so maybe we can get him back on uh on our videos and we can talk him into letting us put his link in for his channel and you guys can see some of his work we might even be able to talk him into starting his channel back up i don't know he he needs to like i said he's super talented but anyway love you guys all of y'all y'all are awesome every single one of you guys even the haters you guys are awesome too so for now we're gonna get back in no signs of any storms for a while no rain has it actually rained here and three or four days so maybe longer maybe five days but anyway guys i'm out of here I'm gonna go take a shower get cleaned up we'll see you guys later